Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we are going to be looking at Lesson 5 of Module 1 today. All right, we're still doing these tape diagrams. Now, there's more than one way to do math, but this is one way that I feel works really well with most kids. And when you take tests, sometimes you get more opportunities to try different methods. But for right now, we're going to try to perfect this tape diagram. You've been doing these for years, so uh, you should be okay with them. All right, so we're going to look at two uh, tape diagrams. So the ratio of the number of people who own a smartphone to the number of people who own a flip phone is 4 to 3. If 500 more people own a smartphone than a flip phone, how many people own each type of phone? All right. So yesterday we were doing tape diagrams, same with the day before. This one's just a little bit different. So the first thing we're going to write down is I'm going to put smart and flip, just so we have those down. And if we look, smartphone is listed first, and so is the number four. So that means we're going to put four boxes with smart. And obviously the next thing is flip three. Okay, that's the first thing we do. First thing, we find what we're comparing, what is our ratio, and what does it have to become. Well, this next sentence says, if 500 more people, this is so important, more, 500 more, 500 more. The word more, we have to look at these two things. Who has more? So think about it. Who has more boxes? So it says 500 more people own a smartphone. So who has more boxes and how many more? That's huge. How many more? Well, 500 more people own a smartphone than a flip phone. So I see one more box. So if 500 more people own a smartphone, the more box gets to be this number. So this box is 500. So if that's 500, every single box is 500. So I just start to write it all in. Super small. You can make yours bigger because it's in your notes. So when we get 500 in each box, it says how many people own each type of phone? Well, 500 plus 500 plus 500 is 